Hello, and welcome to my video regarding match transit problems for Tuesday, March 6, 2018. And it's certainly a lot of people, including me, we always deal with the burden of the MTA being the way it is right now, and the state and performance it is right now. And a lot is going to be covered today in this video. I'm going to talk about two bus lines that screwed people today, the Q46 and, yes, the Q46 again, and believe it or not, the Q31 in Jamaica. And I can't believe I'm actually saying that because the Q31 always picks up people at 158 at Archer and Suffin. But that wasn't the case today. Also, quickly, subways. I'll quickly mention the subways and the Long Island Railroad. So, first topic I wanted to discuss is the fact that the Q46 ran late again at Long Island Jewish. The 1026 a.m. bus didn't come to pick me and another fellow passenger up. And I told her, this is what I have to deal with every single time I take this route. And it's going to be another annoying video that I took. I know it sounds annoying, but I have to keep talking about it because Pine Power wants the truth out there. And you know, he's not the one who does these New York City bus videos. I'm the one speaking up for people in Northeast Queens. I am the only one. I keep saying it over and over again. We have to speak up for our buses. And this is the proof I need to discuss today. So without further ado, as my cell phone's going off in the background... <laughs> Let's go to the first clip I took at Long Island Jewish Medical Center. Another day, another problem with the Q46. Uh, it seems every time I, I have to do these videos, I'm getting pretty sick and tired of these drivers' antics. Uh, the 1026 is missing yet again. I am hoping the 1034 will show up. I'm just quickly mentioning there's a LIJ bus, I'm not going to show him. So I'll keep the camera over here. Ah, uh, boy. You know, I just don't understand the meaning of this bus route. Maybe the MTA, or maybe these former NICE bus employees, are somehow watching my videos, and they're realizing that I am bashing this bus route. And I've said it time and time again. I have been riding this route regularly for almost 10 years. Well, there goes the LIJ bus. Because I think maybe the MTA probably told them you got to get the hell out of here because the 1034 is probably coming. You know, I can't blame them. All right, so let's walk back to the bus stop. And again, I'll just show you all what time this bus is supposed to be here. Let's take a look, shall we? 1026. And it is 1028. I don't know what what is the... What is wrong with these dispatchers? You know, shouldn't they be telling them, you know, you're supposed to be on the route at 1026. It's supposed to be a Long Island Jewish Medical at 1026. You know, I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, I have no other choice. This is the only bus route that goes along here. And I've tried walking to the Q43 and that was a headache. So, I'm going to let you all know if the 1034 even shows up because I doubt it even is coming. And as I said time and time again, somebody needs to conduct an investigation into the MTA hiring former NICE bus employees because Pine Power LI talks about it all the time. Okay, so it's 10.30 right now and uh, this is an o o Orion 7, obviously, I can tell. This is from the Queens Village Bus Depot. I can also tell from the logo and this is going to be bus number 64, let me try to make it out, 6484. Okay, let's pull back because we don't want to get in trouble, of course. Let's get a good angle. Yep. You know, I can't blame him. I can't blame him. He's, he's annoyed. He has to go on break. Yep, probably another nice bus employee who ended up working for the Queens Village Bus Depot. <sighs> This is the way we are treated here at Long Island Jewish Medical Center. This is supposed to be a high travel route. 
Okay, let's bring that in mind. This is supposed to be one of the busiest bus routes in the entire borough. And years and years ago, when I first started taking this route, it was rated as one of the best bus routes in the entire borough. And it got people between Long Island Jewish and Kew Gardens, and even got me to my school in Glen Oaks on time. Now, here we are again, dealing with the fact... Oh! Good, he's pulling up. This is the 1034, so I better get on board. I have to remember one thing. Try to be out here between 1026 and 1034, because maybe one day the dispatch will get things done correctly, but thankfully the 1033 uh, came early today, so I can understand why. Okay, so here's what I can take away from that ride, honestly. Route was not crowded, which was very surprising. I, when I was on that route today at 1034, I didn't notice that many people were on the bus today. Well, not that many. We did have a bunch of overcrowding earlier on on the route, but I'd say after Springfield Boulevard, the bus really wasn't that packed. It normally gets overcrowded and full, but that was surprising. Another reason could be we saw another bus on Union Turnpike, probably around 164th Street, so we caught up to it. So that could be another reason why, you know, maybe I'm underestimating why the bus route leaves from Little Neck Parkway into 60th Street. But again, people in that area don't need a bus. What I don't understand is. You know what? What's the whole point of porting a bus over there? I I don't ha I don't have any other explanation. The other bus did pick up passengers that was in front of us, so that's a good sign that my bus was not that packed today, and I was relieved about that. And again, overcrowding. The other bus saved the day. I I just wish that was the 1026 because the bus would have been less overpacked, and I keep saying it over and over and over again. You know, I want that part of the route eliminated. There needs to be more buses leaving Long Island Jewish, all right? And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping when they make, they're, they're really considering it now, I keep hearing they want to make the 46 select, so I'm hoping when they put the new Excelsior buses, because I hear on the transit forms all the time, the Excelsior is coming to the 46, I keep seeing it, it was a past year or two, they keep saying, keep an eye out for the Excelsior, keep an eye out for it. Well, I hope the Excelsior is coming, because it's a bus route that is relying upon hundreds and thousands of people each and every day. I mentioned at Long Island Jewish, it used to be a reliable route. Now, you have people who used to work at NICE, and now they're ending up doing that route. It's a shame, but what can you do, right? And I keep saying, it's the only route that serves that area. I feel bad, but, you know, the MTH doesn't have proper planning, I think. Seven train issues today. Where do we even begin? In the 8 a.m. hour, 34th Street Hudson Yard bound trains delayed because of a train with mechanical problems at 42nd Street Grand Central. And in the noon hour, Flushing Mound Main Street trains with delays because of signal problems at Junction Boulevard. And a quick note, construction work is affecting seven express trains until Friday. The following stops added will be at 33rd, 40th, 46th, 52nd, 69th, and 74th Streets. So the MTA, let everybody know a week in advance, including me, prepare to not have express subway service. I never take the subway anyway because of all the problems that Lyon's been having lately. But 2.45, at least it's a good time to start express trains. So that's good. So at least the MTA makes sure that the express train service starts right before 3 o'clock. But... Just a quick heads up, the construction work, they're doing construction on the structure in Queens. Uh, this is a reason why you should be aware of it, and I doubt any work's going to be done tomorrow because of the Nor'easter coming. 
We have ENF problems to talk about. Thankfully, I didn't see anything with the M or the R in Queens. So I'll just quickly mention that. But ENF, where do we even begin with this today? F train with mechanical problems at Rockefeller Center. Thankfully, this didn't affect me because I didn't get there until noon. So that's a good sign. The F train with mechanical problems in the 10 a.m. hour. FDNY at 34th Street Penn Station caused E train delays. And it even got worse. Switch problems at World Trade Center after 3.30. And as of 4 o'clock, or well, 4.22 to be precise, as I'm recording this, my emails are blowing up all over the place with the A, C, and E having problems. Long Island Railroad issues. Uh, I figured, let's go to Penn Station and hear the first problem, and the PowerPoint will do the rest. Signal problems near Palmingdale Station. Long Island Railroad is operating with the least average in 15 and 20 minutes. Both directions on the Rock Cottonwood Branch. Please listen to station announcements for further train track and connection information. Yep, you heard it right at Penn Station. Signal trouble at Farmingdale caused delays on the Ronkonkoma branch at noon. And thankfully I was able to take that clip today because nobody else wants to do it and I'm the only one that gives you on the scene reporting. <laughs> okay, after 2 p.m., a police investigation in Jamaica actually caused delays on the Babylon branch. Wow! I thought this day would never come! People in Babylon got screwed! <laughs> Serves the snobs right! It also caused delays on the also snobby Long Beach branch! You know, Long Beach is becoming snobby too. You gotta admit that. Uh, East Rockaway, you know, one thing I'll say about East Rockaway. You know, the people who live near the railroad tracks... My heart and prayers go out to you because it could be a headache dealing with the train going by 24-7. And people have pools. I won't mention that. People actually have pools. So they're probably used to it. But what I've noticed now is that Oceanside, a, a, a community years ago that used to be warm and welcoming to be outsiders, turns out Oceanside, I'll quickly mention this, Oceanside starting to become snobby. And that surprises me. You know, I understand these South Shore towns, but the snobs today along the Babylon branch finally got what they deserved. They had their preppy little service get interrupted today. So, that's a sigh of relief. You know, I, uh, I thought this day would never come where I actually see an issue on the Babylon branch, and it finally happened. And, you know, I quickly want to mention that the... Uh, 135 train you saw, the Huntington, which is normally my train, that didn't get canceled because, remember, Huntington trains don't go to Farmingdale. That's the other north track, so I didn't get affected. Well, I'm going to show you, uh, Jamaica, the issue I had with the buses over there because, believe it or not, I'm annoyed as it is. And also, the end of the video, I think that's the end of the, yeah, that's the end of the PowerPoint. So here's what we're going to do for the end of the video. I'm going to show you uh, my other videos I took today in Jamaica because the Q31 didn't come at 158 in Jamaica. I'm also going to show you a down tree on Home Lawn Street. Believe it or not, there's still a down tree on Home Lawn Street that uh, Verizon apparently, I don't know what Verizon was doing there, but I was wondering why wasn't uh, New York City a New York City truck over there. So. At least it didn't impact the Q31 or Q30 route. And also, I know this is going to nauseate some people, but I have a slideshow that I made on Wondershare with regards to how disgusting the E and the F train station in Q Gardens has gotten because it is still a mess. I keep saying it over and over again. I want that station renovated. No one's going to do anything about it. I mean, don't people realize in the city that Kew Gardens Union Turnpike Station is a heavily used station that many people use? I just don't understand the MTA's logic. I really don't. So, 
that's where I end this part of the video. So the other montage will quickly end the video for today. Thank you for watching. And quickly, weather updates. I'm going to try my best to get them out to you guys tomorrow during the Nor'easter. So to end the video, here's the montage. And until next time, take care. Why am I always running into these problems with the MTA lately? I met Suffin and Archer in Jamaica, and the Q31 is missing. The 158 bus to Francis Lewis 27th Avenue is missing. Uh, I don't know what's going on because the bus normally comes from over here, and there's uh, passengers waiting with me over here, and I'm left wondering, like everybody else, where's the bus? Where's the bus? It's bad enough yesterday I got an email from New York City bus saying, Oh, well, traffic around Archer Avenue is bad. Expect delays on the Q30 and Q31 and all other buses to Jamaica as well. You know what's crazy? I just saw the 43 to 4 Park just left. Well, I'm not kidding. The 43 to 4 Park just left. So now I'm left wondering, am I going to be stuck here for another 5-7 minutes trying to get the 30 to Little Neck? I mean, 30, 30, 31, I don't care, as long as I'm getting fresh meadows. But some people who have to go to Bayside, who are probably trying to access the Port Washington Ranch of the Long Island Railroad, they can't, because the bus is not there for them. You can't rely on the 36. That's for sure, you get a little neck up. Okay, so we are left wondering what's going on, where's the bus to Bayside, because this is ridiculous. It is after 2 o'clock, and there is supposed to be a bus that goes to Bayside. No, it's not here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, here comes something. Ah. See, this is odd. It's 2.02 right now, and the Q30 is not supposed to start its route until 2.07. And this is going to be bus number 8446. Uh, I'm going to let the driver know the 30 didn't... Uh, the, 31 didn't show up. I'm gonna let him know. 31 to Bayside never came. You are a lifesaver, sir. So it's bad enough these problems are at Long Island Jewish constantly. They're now also happening to people in Jamaica. And I mentioned this in the previous clip that I got an email yesterday from New York City Transit saying, oh, well, we have traffic in the area. Well, okay, I didn't check my emails for one. Two, the fact of the matter is, there is supposed to be, as I said before, the Q31 that goes to Francis Lewis Boulevard and 27th Avenue at 1.58. I got off the train at 10 at 1.56. I ran down here to make sure I would not miss the bus. And guess what happens? The 30 saves the day, as I said. I'm getting the fresh meadows safe and sound on the Nova bus. A little bit disappointed that they cut the Orion 7s on this route, but this is why we have to speak up for our mass transit. And the bad news is uh, for some people who are trying to get some little neck, well, they're still waiting out in the cold because this bus is only going to Queensboro. We're thankfully uh, at Jamaica Center right now, so we're making uh, good progress that at least there's no traffic here in the downtown Jamaica area. So, yeah. I just really want to say is that, uh, I don't know what's going on with these dispatchers again. again. I keep saying it at Long Island That's Jewish. The rear door. I keep saying it all the time over there. And now it's coming to Jamaica. It's spreading. It's literally spreading that, I, I just don't know, I'm, I'm lost for words. I just, I can understand why nice drivers are ending up working for New York City bus, because they know how bad the buses are maintained, they know that the bus will break down in most cases, versus, a New York, versus an average New York City bus. You can, you can put a bunch of them up to nice, the New York City bus still performs better, because the MTA at least puts millions millions more dollars to maintaining these buses in two bus slots here in Queens. I'm just going to quickly mention that, so... 
I think we live in an area of Fresh Meadows where it's accessible for two bus lines from Jamaica. And I'm grateful for that. But if I was still living in Auburndale, I would have been screwed. But then again, I would be getting 31 at Bayside anyway, so what would be the point? So that would be the Port Washington line I would take or figuring out what time the train does stop in Auburn. Thankfully, saying it over, I'm happy I live in Fresh Meadows, even though my neighborhood is becoming look like no more now. Yes, it is true. And the fact of the matter is, I should just be grateful that my luck played itself out today. So, that's where I ended. And just remember, we have to keep speaking up about our buses, because I'm going to quickly mention Vicki Palladino officially launched her New York State Senate website. You know, I completely agree with her on our buses lately in Queens. Someone That's needs to speak up for them. Door. Someone needs to do it besides me, because honestly, I'm the only voice of reason in Northeast Queens for these buses. And, you know, am I grateful? Yes. Am I happy the MTA runs the buses? Yes, but things could still be better. We're going to be passing 84th Road, and the reason why I'm saying that, because any of you remember over the Nor'easter we had last week, a pole line fell and made this route take a different detour. We're going to see if we're going to pass 84th Road in a matter of moments. And again, Con Edison should be on alert in this area, because uh, with the next storm coming tomorrow, you never know... Uh, with this crazy area of trees we live upon that more power lines like this one could come down. So a utility truck over here, they put a caution tape during the uh, last storm on Friday. Okay, so this is a Verizon truck. Oh, see, down tree. And there's gonna be more coming down tomorrow. That's a definite guarantee with these wind gusts going to 40, 50 miles an hour. 